if you're an Iranian, if you speak the language and you understand the culture in Iran, it would probably be looked at as the biggest frontier market opening up. We do see a significant amount of interest. Zanyar and Human are ex-bankers who gave up their jobs in London and Dubai to set up Griffon Capital in Iran. We're a small group of 13 to 14 employees right now. What you see here is the uh, market research and private equity team. For them, the post-sanctions opportunities were too good to resist. If you were to compare Iran with some of the other countries in the region from a regulatory point of view and the depth of the market, um, it's, it's, it's actually one of the more developed markets. But most of these development happened between 2007 and now, which were um, somewhat during the period when the country was actually relatively um, isolated and, and, and not a whole lot of foreign investment basically came in. They want to raise money for one of Iran's first private equity funds focused on foreign investment. Many Iranians who have cut their teeth in the West's financial services industry now hope to apply their experience back home in what they believe will be the world's next frontier market. What made you want to come to Tehran right now? Well, uh, I've been to Iran before uh, for many pleasure and visiting family. Um, but ever since the nuclear agreements and the opportunities that are arising uh, for Iranian companies to work with European companies, um, I don't know, I think it was a, a combination of my own heritage and both, uh, you know, business prospects as well. And you're not um, concerned about any political backlash you may face from some people here? I mean, it's something that, that is always possible, um, but I think the conditions appear to be quite stable now. We're, we're not necessarily um, people who shy away from anxiety. I mean, that's, that's uh, what we live with, I guess. As, as, as if, if you're in investment banking, that's part, part of your DNA, I guess. The acid test for Griffon Capital and similar investment firms will be sanctions removal. They will have to wait and see if Iran becomes the frontier market they're hoping for.